When I make these wildlife walk style videos, I often have a target species or a new place to visit. But with my baby just two weeks away now, I'm trying to stay close to home. So I'm visiting Hicklin Broad Nature Reserve and I guess I'm just going to have a little walk around and share any wildlife I find here with you. So come on, let's go for a wildlife walk. Hicklin Broad is managed by Norfolk Wildlife Trust and is home to a mix of habitats. The first part of my route took me through a wet woodland that was also dotted with patches of gorse and it's where I found the first bit of wildlife to show you. This is a large red damselfly and it's a female. Despite their name, not all of them are as red as this with females coming in three colours, including almost completely black. Then I noticed something else up ahead. Well, I've just seen a muntjac. This is straight up ahead of me. I'm going to try to creep around the bush and hopefully catch it on film. Okay, I can see it. I'm going to get my camera out. Oh. saw me and ran away. <sighs> it hadn't gone too far and was kind enough to let me film its back before it disappeared for good. I carried on walking and soon came to a wider pathway along the edge of the wood. I always take a look in the brambles here as there's usually a lot of invertebrates but this time there wasn't much to see aside from these two damselflies. There are 21 separate species of damselfly in the UK and the differences between some of them are really subtle. Here, I think there is a female variable damselfly on the left and an immature male blue-tailed damselfly on the right. If you think I'm wrong, please let me know why in the comments down below. I am always learning. Soon, the woodland gave way to shrubland and that too to open water, re-beds and sailboats passing by. Occasionally there were small dead trees standing above the reeds and bouncing between them were a couple of reed buntings. This one with its white collar and black head is a male and nearby is what I presume is his mate. He might think that as well but female reed buntings are known to mate with other males and up to half of their chicks aren't fathered by the male with which they are paired. I'd visited on one of the only sunny days we've had so far this year, so I was quite happy to find a bit of shade in Cadbury Hyde. The reeds were quite high, so I couldn't see anything among them, but luckily one of the reed bed's most enigmatic residents had made an appearance. I know a lot of people watch these videos from other parts of the UK, or even further afield, but living in Norfolk I see marsh harriers quite often. However, this is the longest close and unbroken view I've ever had of one. What an amazing sight. Aside from fleeting glimpses, the Marsh Harrier was all I saw from Cadbury Hyde, so I moved on. The reeds were alive with dragonflies, most of which were too fast for me to catch on film, apart from this four-spotted chaser. All dragonflies are predators, and once rested, this one will be back in the sky trying to catch other airborne insects. It wasn't far to the next hide, Secker's hide, and here there was more open water and a couple of species in sight. This is an adult coot, and nearby were several of its chicks. 
Coots can be brutal parents, especially when food is in short supply, and will bully and sometimes even kill their own chicks if they beg too much. These ones were keeping a safe distance, but there was other danger at the water's edge, a grey heron. Grey herons mostly feed on fish, but will kill and eat anything that moves that they think they can swallow. Every bush that rises up out of the reeds stands as a landmark, and this one had been claimed by a sedge warbler. For species like this, it's important to be able to get above the reeds to announce your territory, but be able to dip back into them if danger approaches. I spoke with a lot of people as I made my way around the reserve, and most of them had came hoping to see a swallowtail butterfly. I have probably included one in this video's thumbnail, but at the time, I hadn't been having much luck in finding one myself. I passed by where the boat tour, which I still haven't been on, departs from, and although I could see some small fish swimming about, once I put the camera under the surface, the water was too murky to catch them on film. The beautiful landscape was the only thing I saw along the next part of my route, and I avoided going into the observation tower, as I'm happy to report it was full of parents and children enjoying the outdoors together. I can't wait to bring my daughter along on these wildlife adventures when she gets here. Soon my path turned, past a thatched roof building which I managed not to film, although I did catch this pied wagtail on top of it. No one really knows why they constantly flick their tails, but it's thought that it's a signal, either to other members of their species, or to potential predators. I'd been focusing my attention on the reeds, and anything that might live there, but turning my attention skywards, I noticed two hobbies darting about high above. These visit the UK in summer, and catch their prey on the wing, which includes small birds such as swallows and dragonflies. They're very agile, and not the easiest bird to catch on film. Not far down the track, I was brought firmly back down to earth, when I spotted a flicker of yellow in the corner of my eye. This is a swallowtail butterfly, and the one that everyone's been hoping to see. These are the largest butterfly in the UK, and can only be found in the Norfolk Broads. I followed it for a minute or two, and then it flew up and out of sight. How brilliant was that? I'd only covered about half of Hicklin Broad Reserve at this point, but I was running out of time, so I decided to end on a high note and made my way back to the reception where I sampled some not so local delicacies. But sadly where today's wonderful wildlife walk has to come to an end. If you did enjoy it then please consider having a look at the video that's on the screen now. Thanks for watching and I will see you next time.